Hey Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in everyone. This is going to be a tarot reading entitled Why and why this person wants to reconnect and who is it that wants to reconnect with you. Now we'll see what the cards can reveal about who's coming up and why this person wants to connect or reconnect, I should say, emotionally, physically, um, energetically. We'll see if the cards can reveal who this person is because I feel like there may be a channeled message um, here for some of you. So please be open to the messages that come your way today. Um, if something doesn't resonate, chances are it's not for you um, or maybe not right now. But um, this is a reading channeling the current energy. So where you find yourself right now, um, water signs. Let's uh, flip out some cards and see what comes up. Okay, who wants to connect? Who wants to reconnect? Why? Okay, this is someone that's been missing you, someone who's still emotionally attached to you, water signs. Um, you are coming up as the queen of cups. So you're coming up as someone very, very important for this person. You've got, you've got queenly energy for them. Um, the nine of swords tells me this person hasn't been in a good place lately. They've been feeling lonely uh, or sad or anxious. Okay. This is a person that hasn't left your life entirely because we've got the Eight of Cups reversed. So this is someone who refuses to uh, maybe leave your life, re refuses to disconnect with you entirely. There's still a very strong attachment that exists between you and this person here. But it's someone that's still hovering around you in some way. You're still connected online. You're still in their life. This person still messages you. They haven't left your side in a way. They're still orbiting around you, around your social circle, around your energies, around your mutual friends. So this makes me feel like it's someone you do know and someone you do make contact with fairly often. Uh, even if it is someone who you haven't sort of connected with in a very long time, it's still this area, it, it's, they're still in this um, zone where like they're checking up on you or they can they can still see what you're up to. You know, maybe you're still connected online on social media. Or you still see each other at those um, work meetings or, you know, you still see each other at your local gym. There's still a cons constant contact that's made between the both of you. Queen of Cups can definitely indicate this person still loves you. We've got the moon that's come up. So this is a strong cancer energy. Cancer is telling me that this is someone who still cares very much about you because Cancer as a sign is a very caring sign. They get very attached. They hold on to feelings. This could definitely be someone from the past. I'm talking about an ex here for you, Water Signs. This is, this is someone who hasn't left you entirely emotionally that haven't been able to walk away from you. Now, you might have children with this person as well. The High Priestess can represent fertility. Interestingly, she is reversed. Okay, so what I'm making of this is that normally when she's upright, she's mysterious. When she's reversed, this person, I'm getting a vibe that maybe this person has already told you how they felt and you know, you've put them on the side bench, you've put them on the back burner, you're not interested in taking up those offers right now, or you've left this relationship in the past. Let bygones be bygones. Look, maybe that's what's happened here. You've left it in the past and that's okay. Um, water signs, I think you've tried to move on with your life, but this person is still wrapped up emotionally in you. They're dreaming about you. They're thinking about you. They can't get to sleep without you. Um, the Knight of Cups, there, there is an offer coming in from this person or will be coming in. Now, the Knight of Cups is often connected to an emotional offer, okay? He wants love. He wants to receive love. He wants the whole relationship thing. So this person is, is possibly reconnecting with you to make you an offer, um, an invitation for a date. Uh, they want to pick up the relationship again. Maybe they want to pick things up again. Okay, it's very likely that this could be someone from the past for a lot of you speaking. Okay, you've had, maybe you've had an emotional connection with this person before. Um, a six of pentacles tells me that things were very one-sided with this person. Either you were much more invested in them or they were much more invested with you. There wasn't an even playing field here. So the emotions you had towards each other were not even. Either at one point you liked them more at a different stage in life, they liked you more. I'm not getting an equal vibe here. You know, the number two is reversed. The eight and the nine are high numbers. I'm getting for some of you because in the eight and nine can represent like abundance and fulfillment and endings. It could be that this person you've um, recently ended something with. So you might have recently ended a relationship with them. 
Now, there might have been some sort of exiting because of a living situation, like they might have had to go to a different city or a country to work. You know, there could be some sort of like um, geographical issues or distance that had separated the both of you. It could be that you're also very different, um, like your heritage is very different and those differences are coming up in the reading, maybe to help you distinguish this person. It definitely could be that. Okay, there's some begging and pleading with the Six of Pentacles. So this person has pleaded for you before. They've begged for you before. Begged forgiveness, pleaded to be with you, pleaded to keep their secret. Um, you know, there's something here that they were desperate for, especially from you. And they might have actively, you know, gotten on their knees and said, I'm sorry about this, or I want you back, or I'm sorry I cheated, or I'm sorry I did that. There's an apologetic energy, okay? There's a stressful energy next to them. They still care. They're still, as I say, emotionally wrapped up in whatever it is that happened between the both of you so okay we have that we have this um we have this like emotional um connection coming up in the cards so that's definitely here the high priestess they don't want to keep things from you anymore um they're trying not to keep anything mysterious. They're trying to keep you updated or anything they're telling you is maybe um, their way of telling you, okay, I'm telling the truth now. I'm doing everything by the book. I'm, um, this is real. This is the real me. Um, because I feel like with that high priestess reverse to me, I get a sense that this person is not trying to be a mysterious they're not trying to hide their feelings. They're not trying to hide hide their true intentions. They're being legit with what's going on with them internally. And they want you to know that. And uh, this is sort of their way of showing you that, uh, if that makes sense. There might have been even MIA, you know, this, this Knight of Cups is like wandering the desert. They might not left entirely, but they've sort of maybe like disappeared a little bit. They could, they, this could be a message here that they're feeling a little bit lost. They've been wandering the desert, so they're sort of in a barren land. Nothing has been going on with them romantically. Um, you know, they, they, they may be feelings um, from their side that's coming through that they're feeling lost without you. Um, they're not feeling entirely themselves uh, and they're not feeling like they've got direction right now. So maybe they, they want to reconnect because you somehow give them purpose or direction. So it's a very profound reason why they want to come back. Okay, that's huge. That's big. You obviously do something big for them, water signs. Um, so we'll see uh, when this happens. But I feel like why they want to reconnect is because of the reasons I've mentioned here. But of course, please um, accept the messages that resonate. And of course, if they don't, um, maybe this message isn't for you at this point in time. But I do hope nonetheless, there has been something for you that has been helpful for you. So um, I do appreciate you tuning in Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Don't forget to drop a like and hit the bell notification button to subscribe to notifications for your readings for your signs. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. So take care, everyone. And until next time, bye for now.